it opens up. So we're gonna we're hunting the lower end of this dry lake unit. We're good for glassing, as you can see. Um, you know, you can sit on top of this hill here. Is what we're just gonna do, and I mean, you can glass up all of these bulls when they come on out. They should be coming out here in the next 30 minutes. We already heard one bugle. So. Uh, on a little hike and stretch our legs out so stay tuned don't go nowhere that's where it's at st carlos years he'll be a monster Well, it's almost pretty much the end of the day here. We decided to come to this lower end to uh, see what was all down here. Um, there's a ton of bulls, um, mature bulls. There's at least five mature solid bulls. I mean, mature, I'm talking like 350, 360 bulls, you know. Um, nothing in our caliber as far as today. So we're gonna, you know, pass up these bulls. Um, but they're talking real good, and it's good to hear all these bugles. So, yeah. Tomorrow we will be up high. We'll go into the pines and uh, check out some other spots. So, rattlesnake country. We're in rattlesnake country today. So, but yeah, keep on trucking. You gotta pass up these little guys to get to the big one. Cool. Over and out. Bulls right here in front of us. They're all in here. Might go after that bull over there. I don't know. Let's see what these guys all look like first. So. All right, all right, here it is, 2018 San Carlos uh, Dry Lake Bull. Um, we came down to the wire, man. We came down to the last day of the hunt. Uh, and, you know, Marsh has been out here really looking for bulls. The rut is, is really slow right now. Um, I was actually out in the Melee Gap uh, guiding for, you know, trying to get my, my hunter a bull. And I got word uh, Marsh here that he needed some help. So I told him, heck yeah, I'll help you, man. Let's go do it. So we came out here, and um, like I said, the rut is really slow. Um, you know, there, there were some real nice bulls that have been killed here on the St. Carlos as far as 2018. 
Um, but it just it came down to the wire, man. And uh, we came across this bull, you know, just a real unique looking bull. His his tops are pretty short, um, but the fronts and you know, it, Marsh wanted a bull, so he got one. <clears throat> you know, and that's all that counts for now. Um, what do you think, Marsh man? Did you have some fun out here? Yeah, I had some fun looking for bulls, calling them in. And this was the last suggestion. Took them out with the T70 scope at 350 yards. Uh, I had to take a couple of shots at him. His uh, scope was kind of off a little bit. But we took him out and we had to gut him up, pack him up, and head on down. So it was a lot of adrenaline, man. I mean, it was um, just, you know, I try to get the best footage as I can. Um, but, you know, I, I wanted to focus more on where he was shooting and helping him get his shot placement. So I kind of put the, the camera down and started, um, you know, doing my, being more of a guide, I guess. So, but uh, we got him down and he hit him, man. And, you know, all the matters is down and we got elk meat. Uh, we just got to get to work now. So congratulations, man, on your 2018 St. Carlos Bull. Yes, sir. Uh, Native Hunting Adventures, always there to help you guys out. Give us a call. You know, so stay tuned. And uh, we're going to get to work here, get our hands bloody, and, you know, we're blessed with the bull. So, and that's all that counts. So, yeah. 2018's a wrap.